Okay guys, so in this video I'm going to go through from a start to finish of setting up the uh, Movi Chip Math Manager. So, first of all, we need to pair the phone with the uh, device. So, we go into settings, we go to Bluetooth, we turn Bluetooth on, and then we wait until the the phone picks up the device. Obviously the device, by this time, the device needs to be wired into the car and the uh, ignition needs to be on before we start this process. So the uh, phone has found the math manager, math man in this case, we enter the pin and we wait for the phone to connect to the unit, to pair with the unit, strictly speaking. Okay, so when we've done that, we open our math manager uh, the first screen we get to is this. So before we can do anything, we need to connect the app to the device. So we can see Mathman is listed in the uh, menu. When this bar goes green, it means that it is now connected to the uh, device. So the first menu we need to do something with is the uh, math menu. So we'll just go in here and we just need to check that we are getting a um, signal in map in. Assuming it is, we can close that menu, we can go into map, and then we just want to uh, check that the uh, map live is showing some figures. And then we can go into car menu, and the set menu is our scaling. So before you start the car, you need to put in some uh, uh, relevant figures or ballpark figures into these uh, three stages here so you've got idle low load and um, high load so before we put those details in there we need to set the split point for what determines what is an idle load what is medium load and what is high load so we go into the map menu and at the top here we've got two menus split medium high and split idle med so the split idle med is what is going to, what percentage of load as a percentage of the map sensor signal is going to count as our split point between the idle load and the medium load. And then above that we've got split med high which is again the percentage, in a percentage of the signal coming from the map sensor as the split point between medium load and high load. So you can choose whatever you want here but obviously the figures have to be plausible i.e. your idle med percentage needs to be less than the med high percentage so when the unit is new these figures will be at a hundred percent so you need to minus the numbers until you get to a till you get to the figures you want in this case on this particular engine I'm using a 15 percent and 28 percent the uh, car is using a three bar map sensor but the car is also normally aspirated so we have um, a low map signal so that's the basic thing that we need to do first with a the map then we need to go to the set menu and then we need to put in our set scaling for the map sensor so this is the settings that the car will use when you turn it on each time if you don't have a wideband math sensor connected to the car the device will use these figures all of the time if you have a wideband uh, lambda sensor connected to the car and you are using that to auto tune the product these menu these figures in this menu will be used for the first five minutes of the engine running after which the unit the math manager will start to tune the air fuel ratios as you're driving but either way the figures in this menu need to be uh, plausible and accurate. So in this particular car, we are running the original math sensor, but we are, have put uh, around 30% bigger injector in the car. The cams are also different. It is a different engine. So for this specific case, I know that the uh, car runs rich with the uh, standard math signal going to the car's ECU. So I've put here uh, 0.8 is the idle multiplier, 0.84 is the uh, low load, and 0.92 is the high load. So the the math manager will multiply the incoming math signal by 0 
and then send that updated uh, figure, updated signal to the car's ECU to get the AFR that we want. So this will get the car up and running. There's some other features which well, I will cover in a uh, separate video, but this is just bare bones what you need to do through the app to get the car running. So as always, thank you for watching the video and uh, subscribe to the channel to get the, um, the other videos that will come in this series. Until then, thank you for watching.